Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julianne. I'm here to do my reaction video for season four, episode four of Riverdale. This time the title, wait, hold on. The title of the episode is Halloween, right? Okay, so yeah, Halloween. Uh, I'm excited uh, to watch a new episode of Riverdale uh, as every week. I mean, the season so far is not, it's not that bad. You know, Riverdale tends to be ridiculous sometimes, you know, and they, like, the whole thing with Edgar, whatever, whatever, um, I don't know, uh, the whole thing with him building a rocket and then wearing that outfit to fly in said rocket, it, it, and also the fact that Betty was the one who saved everyone and not the actual FBI who was searching and looking and like investigating it whew, it's surreal like honestly like this show just keeps getting like i don't know if it keeps, get, it keeps getting like better or worse or a combination it's insane i mean it's insane i mean it's just you kind of have to accept riverdale for the mess it is sometimes you know <laughs> uh but so far it's not that bad as the gargoyle king and all that bad so i mean eh, i mean it's enjoyable you know so i guess i don't know anyways here i am ready to enjoy or and watch another episode of riverdale it ended up with a huge cliffhanger especially for cheryl which is tony finally fine finally figuring out or discovering that cheryl cheryl it's been keeping her brother her brother's corpse in her house and she talks to him and 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 change clothes to him and like she was sewing it's insane she needs help and hopefully tony can like snap some sense into this girl and also get her the help that she needs because honestly that is not normal okay so let's see how they handle that let's see how they handle the entire story hope you guys enjoyed my reaction i hope you guys continue supporting for more don't forget to give this video a heart if you're watching the uncut version on on patreon uh there you can watch the entire episode with me so go and check it out link as always is in the description down below give it a lot of thumbs up if you're on youtube uh continue supporting for more and that's it without further ado let's just begin with season four episode four of Riverdale. Wow, someone's it's been a spy. Six hours of our house. Well, it's not your house anymore. Why would somebody do that? Film it and then leave the evidence on the front doorstep? They just Don't want you to you. know, Let you know that they're watched. watching. Yeah. yeah but why a videotape? Everyone. Over Is the next few days, then weeks. More and more citizens of Riverdale received so copies of similar tapes. We well, have a footage stalker. Of upon hours. That is unsettling. What is more no unsettling is, is that they all have VCRs. What the hell? Which somehow, who would get the next tape? Oh shit. What do they mean? This is 13 reasons why. <laughs> a test? It's good before any other. Oh, they're together? <laughs> hey, Betty, is Jug still coming home for Halloween? Yep, yeah, that's the plan, Mr. Jones. We're gonna. Candy and is it, isn't it a little bit weird oh. that they are dating and your the other two are yeah. dating? Brother. Time for what? To say goodbye to Jason. <laughs> oh my god, Tony! Tony! I know. No, you have to be I'm strong, to. Tony! Look, 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 Halloween. look. It's our favorite holiday. Of course, you can spend it with a corpse. What is Tony doing? This is not something you can rationalize with. You, like, that moment you found that corpse, you gotta be like, you know what, girl, you're not getting more. You know why? If you don't get rid of that bitch. I'll be like, look, I, I, I get it. Tony is very understanding, but, like, Cheryl needs help. It's stupid that they're doing pumpkins with Jason right there. No, that is not being a supporting girlfriend. Sometimes tough love is needed. <sighs> this is stressing me out already. <laughs> hey, but then you're gonna say the same thing about Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then Christmas. Ugh, who's gonna I'm spend gonna Christmas with a corpse? He's not going to like this. 
He's a corpse! I'll get the shovels. <laughs> yes, Tony. <laughs> oh, God. That is so creepy. This is sen insensitive Thanks. fox. You and you. I made it very clear that there will be what no the fuck? on school property. That that's the, the problem. Hand it up. That uh, vigilante. <laughs> oh They're my god. A wild and Halloween night. Looking to bust some heads. That'll keep the kids off the streets. Not and take your life. shirts off. And don't worry because about why not? Questions. One of my gal pals in New York, Katie Keene. She goes to the high school Gal pal, performing arts really? and is an amazing well, behind bricks and then is never seen or heard from again. I didn't really thought he was a That'd teacher. That'd be a horrible way to go, don't you think, Forsyth? To just vanish? He looks too old like to be high school. The Stonewall 4, you mean? So. Mm, I, I'm gonna guess that his grandfather was I'm one of them, so right? I'm so proud of you, babe. You are Cheryl, what's that? I know. What the fuck, Cheryl? Oh, no. It's, you know why I kiss her? Maybe this will go like out of her head. I know exactly where this is going. Sex. I, I don't know. Yes, yes. Bless. <laughs> Look, she needs help. She ne needs help. Moving on. It's fresh brood. Yeah. Thanks. It has drugs in it. Don't don't drink it. That was searching for something. Really suspicious. Newspaper office. Uh, police station. Told you. Told you that we're gonna drug him. John, you okay? What do you think? Yeah. You need to lie down. <laughs> what the hell did they... Why did she do that to Jughead? We look ridiculous. <laughs> what the it's fuck? Horrible, both of you. What are our names? They're the shields. Right on. Uh, Veronica, you need to ride to the center? <laughs> no, I'll take an Uber. Thanks. I still have to do some cleanup over here. They look cute, they though. They look cute. Heart, Insensitive fox. <laughs> You guys look great. I will know one of you was Have fun. my dad. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> oh. So, fuck you, Jughead? What the hell is this? What? Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Poor Jughead. Prove that the premature burial is scary. It's <laughs> on you because I've already survived way worse. <laughs> but I think you're scared. Oh my god. I will be freaking out so much. All right, you sick fuck. No, Betty, it's me. What? Who is that? Have you checked on the children lately? On the children? What does that mean? There's a cup of coffee and a home cooked meal. Yeah, no. Call the cops, Veronica. I'll be. He looks cute though. He kind of looks like a Chapulín Colorado though. But keep moving. So, what do you think, Miss Isley? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Any trick or treaters who might come our way? Oh, oh hello. For a lot oh, hello. Miss Quinn. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my! I am about to. I am about to have a heart attack. Oh, bitch! Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh my god! Someone shut the baby up! You, the toxic twins. Oh my god! You're being fussier than usual. Let's get the fight. Aren't with Nana? No! 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 Oh god! I have never. Hated a child before. Oh, were they talking about them? Be care, take care of the children. But anyways, oh Shoni, for the love of God, that was that was a blessing. I needed this in my in my life in my day. My day is brighter now thanks to Shoni. Oh, here I, I I'm a big hypocrite though because I'm always like oh yeah. You know, what is the name? Oh, uh, Varge is always having sex, and here I am rooting for Shoni to have sex. <sighs> I don't care. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna repeat that. Because why? Because I'm a creep? No, I'm not a creep. I'm just like, I'm appreciating art, okay? <laughs> Keep moving. So, what do you think, Miss Isley? 
<laughs> it looks so high. Computers who might come our way. Oh, we're ready for a lot of things about now. Miss Quinn. Bitch! I love that they got dressed only to have sex. I love these extra lesbians. Extra bitches, whatever. Oh, God. Look at that! <laughs> I love this! Riverdale's so much better when showing this on my screen. And cue the toxic twin. Look at that! Look at that! than usual. I love that they don't bring a flashlight. Okay, that's not possible. What the fuck? I told you. No! It's JJ! Cheryl, stop it! Is those that... angry and now he's haunting us? No, shut up! Cheryl, are you messing with me? I'm yeah, I think Thornhill. so. I swear I'm not Jason. No! No! Oh, can we no! No! We need to stop Relax, this! Go back dude. to bed and have sex! We're good. Please! <laughs> We're golden with me. Why, Kevin? They both did it! Why only Kevin? What the fuck? Maybe it's your mom and your dad having sex. Or not. What on earth? Got ya. Oh, to, fuck you, Jelly Bean! You, see your face. <laughs> you saw what I wanted you to see. Stop lying! Stop it! You know where this call is coming from. Leave me alone! Hell? From inside the house. He's trying to torture her. I don't tell me he's alive, okay? I will. Uh, sure, God. I'll kill. No, <gasps> she killed Annalise Kitten. <laughs> really? You can do that? Yeah, yeah. I've got a unit in the back of my FBI truck. It'll only take a few minutes After to set up. All, right? Is he? Think? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I've been reviewing your Funding. records, Kevin. You've had a yeah. You do that, son. <gasps> Come here, get your ass shot. Sure. That'll make our Halloween, right, boys? You're literally gonna have a fight dressed like that. Upon the invisible forces all around us to aid what is happening? through this communication with the spirit world. Cheryl! Stop it! Is the entity in Who's moving that? Okay, come on, Cheryl, stop moving it. I would, TT, <laughs> except I'm not. I said. <laughs> spirit? What is thy Meta name? Meta Roses. Cheryl is so extra. Oh, uh, don't say Jason. Stop it. It was her. It's Julian. What do you mean? Julian. Who's Julian? Your mother held three babies in her womb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said that. Julian was to be you, Cheryl. Had Eight? absorbed the third one. Oh, fuck off. Eating it. Really? That, that kid is haunting this whole house. What other explanation could there possibly be? That you all crazy? You yeah. And Rose are working together. Yeah. And to what end would back here in the chapel would be acceptable? No, Cheryl. No. And for all, and bury him in Jason's grave. Yes, no. Tony, I agree to your terms. What the hell? No, Tony. Tony. No. What? How is that even a conversation? Cultivated, Mr. Me like, seriously, how is that even a conversation where you're discussing with your girlfriend whether if you unbury her dead twin so she can talk? How is this? How hasn't she called? I don't, I honestly, if I loved, if the woman I loved was talking to a corpse. And then we are playing the war and that thing. I will move. First of all, I will move out. That's the first thing. I don't care if I'm homeless. I will move out. That's the first thing. Second thing, I will get her help. Okay? And maybe we'll have sex with her first. But then I will get her help. No, I wouldn't have sex with her. I would. I don't know. But the thing is, what is Tony doing? <laughs> this is not... See what I'm telling you, the Riverdale just doesn't make sense. They don't. They don't. Prankster. Laughing at one of your jokes, is that the thinking? If you know that he's being abused, why hasn't he called the, thing is, the cops? Isn't that a laughing with you, Mr. Mantle. A, a teacher's job? They're laughing at you. Fuck you. What a way to... 
Now you consider that. Bring him down. As you clean up my office. Um, Hell. It's know. coming from Shady Grove Treatment Center. Where uh, your sister's been it's Polly. Polly has been prank calling me. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Is it really you? No, bitch. It's your sister. <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> Benny's a savage. No bitch. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta love Riverdale. You have to love Riverdale. Just let's just hear that. Has to be the best part of this episode. <laughs> Fucking Benny. <laughs> Edgar? <laughs> no bitch. It's your sister. What? Edgar, I fucking you love that. Food. And you're as good as dead. A serial killer nicknamed the family man, Michael Matthews, forced his oh. victim to cook meals before brutally oh. murdering them. Oh my god! Average oh. Height oh my god! Killed. After escaping from Shady Grove, he killed a trucker and stole his clothes and vehicle. Oh! Holy fuck! Veronica, grab a knife! Grab, grab a knife! Come on, Veronica! Oh my god, my girl's in trouble! Oh no, oh no. Run! Don't oh, bitch! Oh Veronica! You tell me you have a gun! Come on, girl! Can I get a cocktail now? Oh, she's gonna make a bomb! Or something! I don't know what the hell she's gonna do. Holy shit! How did she know that, she, that he had a lighter? I don't know how the fuck you did it, Veronica, but good for you. Oh no. Oh no! Good shot! High schoolers. I mean, it's not that crazy, you know? It is. I will guess that there is, but it wouldn't be more crazy than you actually saving the day. You know this town a whole lot better than I do. I really hope he's he doesn't turn out to be evil, you know? But he does need some you know positive. Looks good, Mr. Mantle. So can I go home? Model. That's what I said. I think it's already morning. You're home now, JJ. This is creepy. Why? No. Oh, it's no. right in the world. No, it's Isn't not. It? No. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Everything's back to normal. T Tony! What is she doing? Okay, so to take a nap? I don't think he did. Happy Halloween, kids. How you feeling, Eddie? Like I got shot in the leg. <laughs> Another just savage. Just a flesh wound. I can't believe you let that kid. guy off on your own. I mean, I can. No one can. No, you're totally I mean, badass, you did right? fought a, a bear, so this is not that crazy. <laughs> I like to think so. She stopped the serial now killer. Now their pure heart hold up. Richie. Don't, uh, don't be. As well be... as you fill them yeah. out, you're not actually considering fighting crime in those tights, are you? <laughs> yeah, please don't. Of course not. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna need a mask. Cheryl. This How's is your insane. shower, my love? Oh my god. Why was on Jason's life? I have no idea. He's dead! What the what the hell is she swearing on? Right? Maybe there I are told more. You. <sighs> Not a rose stop it. Julian. Burn it! What the hell? Yes, you are not going what to believe hell? with Brett. Oh no, where is he? He left? He's just fine on her. Glad that Charles was there for you. Oh no, he's evil. Here I was. He might be the real wasn't. deal. Meanwhile, I feel guilty that I wasn't there for you, Doug. So is Charles the yeah. one who's recording all well, those things? You were there for me. All those things? But you was the only Flash forward. Oh, fuck oh, off. He's not dead. Or maybe he is? <laughs> what the fuck? He's not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> they would, they, they're not gonna do that. He's not dead. Now you catch them having a twin. This is gonna be PLL all over again. 
And that's that's the twin. I don't know who the name will be, but like I'm pretty sure that's not Jughead. It can't be Jughead. I crazy do you really think i think there are a lot more chances for reggie monroe tony cheryl i don't know if it's if cheryl but like cheryl to die than jughead i'm not buying that i'm not buying that i'm not i'm not <sighs> okay guys so that was the end of season four episode four of riverdale what did I told you guys like at the beginning of the episode? This show is insane. You know, you cannot take you like you have to have a really a different perspective when watching this show. Because this show it's ridiculous. Like it is. That is that is what where they live at. And like I think that the fact that they are crazy, it's what makes it fun. Okay, it's entertaining. Whether if you want to say, oh, it's just trash and like, thing. hey, a lot of people also believe that reality TV is, is the same way. Hey, I don't watch reality TV. It's not something that appeals to me. But a lot of people do and it is entertain entertainment for them. And like, who are we to judge, you know? And I think that Riverdale also falls in th that category where it doesn't have to be uh, I don't know, an epic episode or have the most intricate storyline and like have the big, you know, the big performances and things like that. It doesn't need to have that to be exciting, to be mysterious, to be crazy, you know, it, it is what it is. And I think that in a way, I feel like the producers, writers, they have embraced that insanity and they just go with it. I mean, of course, Veronica is going to, you know, face a, a serial killer who just killed a bunch of uh, another person. And she's going to fight him off, not knowing that he's going to come down and, and, you know, have a lighter. She already knows that he will. He, she pour, pours alcohol, throws that to him, and... You know, bang, she sets him on fire, gets out, she's very resourceful. Like, and we have to understand, this is the same show where Archie fought a bear and escaped, survived. He doesn't even have a scratch about it, okay? So, in this, this spirit of just accepting the insanity, you just have to go with it, you know? So, that is what this episode also was about. You have Cheryl, like, hey... I love Shoni. You guys know how much I love Shoni. And I think that episodes like this one where it's not only about the physical attraction, which we know they they are attracted to each other, of course. And we know how cute they look together. And like the chemistry the actors have is just like, it's why, why people like myself go insane every time we see Shoni, you know? But other than that, I like that they did this weird thing with, you know, Tony saying, no, you cannot have Jason, and first accepting to have Jason, then saying that we needed to bury, then unbury the body to have him there, just because she says, okay, I don't want more hunting to happen, you know, and, and she actually doesn't get her girl for help. Like, this is the show that we live in. So even, even with that, even though... A normal, normal person's first instinct, if you see a fucking corpse, is to, one, call the police, two, commit that person to a psychiatrist's uh, facility to get help. I will do that, like I said, you know, but me, I am a normal person. I, I am not one of the residents of Riverdale. So, Tony is, <laughs> Cheryl is as well, and in the sense of, like, keeping up with the insanity of this show... Of course, all of that happened in the episode. Like, if you were to tell someone what happened in the previous episode of Riverdale, how did you explain Riverdale? Like, the first season was so good. Like, the first season was like... And I feel like a lot of people still are hoping that Riverdale is going to go back to being the Riverdale from season one, where... Even this, like the picture, the cinematography, the way they shot these scenes, the bluish kind of uh, uh, 
dark, like theme that they had, you know, the scene seemed like bluish and thing. I don't know the color of it. It was just impeccable. It was good. It was so good. After that, the Riverdale just like went, like they went to crazy town. Okay, so I don't know. Anyway, so yes, this episode had you know. Tony and Cheryl fighting about if they keep uh, the corpse at Fizzle House or not. You know, insane. Like, they're not the normal lesbians who will fight to know how many cats they will have. No, of course not. They're fighting about a corpse because this is Riverdale, like I said, you know. So, um, I like... Even with all the insanity, I do like that we got some Shoney content that has nothing to do with just them as a couple and kiss. Of course, they kiss and all of that because they are a normal couple and they need to share those intimate moments as well. But it was so much more because we had, you know, this the fact that now they know that Penelope didn't have twins, but she had triples. And the midwife, the one that, you know... Uh, delivered the babies, she said that Cheryl ate the third baby, Julian, you know, because it, she absorbed the, the baby, um, which happens, it does happen, but uh, it could also mean that Julian is still out there, and honestly, I feel like a, a, a sibling that could be there for, for Cheryl could help her, but let's be real if a, like this will be the same thing that we have with Charles and Chick on the previous season so I don't know how they're gonna deal with this because either they make him good or they make him bad you know so it's going to be like ups and downs there but I don't think that this is the last time we hear about Julian do I believe that the house is haunted and that the doll, the Julian doll, is haunted or like maybe Annabelle's brother? I, I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so. Uh, but I do believe that there is more going on, you know? Uh, maybe even Nana Rose is doing some weird shit, you know? Who knows? Uh, Tony's freaking out, but she doesn't tell her that she needs to go to a therapist to process the fact that her brother is gone and that it's not normal to have a corpse there who she talks to i don't know what the, i don't know what tony's waiting to be honest um but yeah really fun storyline there then jockhead got trapped and i hate the guy this dude that is like pranking and like like has not like harassing jockhead also, he looks like he's 40, so I don't know why he, they believe that he can look like he's in high school. He he does not, but, uh, and he's annoying, so it just adds more to not like the character. Then you have, of course, what is the, oh, oh, uh, Moose disappearing, uh, probably joining the army, and, like, I feel bad for him, but, like, you know... I, I don't know. I, I have never been in a situation like that, nor I will ever be because I live in the real world and there are no gargoyle kings in this world. Uh, so I don't know what Moose is going through, but like I kind of sympathize with the fact that he wants a fresh star and he doesn't have it anymore, you know, so it's sad. Then Mr. Honey, like, he can drop dead, honestly. He is bullying both both troubled teens you know he's he knows or has a su suspicion and in the normal world a teacher a, a principal if you see abuse you will report that to the police of course not what he does he bullies the 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 kid who is suffering from abuse into cleaning yes he had no right to do that and if he got caught he had to uh, take the consequences of that, get suspended or whatever, or even clean the, the thing. Not, you know, vandalize his car as well, because you're not 12 and you don't do it, you don't do the same thing that is done to you, okay? He's not eight, okay? But no, he did it. And he's bullying Reggie and bullying, uh, what's his name? Kevin. 
it's, it's so stupid that the adults of this show sometimes are more like children, you know? <sighs> and then stupid Polly doing the prank, and I love that Betty was like, you know what, bitch? Like, I love it, that. That was a, a an excellent moment. Um... But yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? What else happened in the episode? Oh well, the whole thing with with Archie dressing as as I don't know what the hell he was dressing as. He was a superhero, and now he wants to be a superhero. Like, are they gonna be in the next crossover for the Arrowverse? <laughs> maybe. Like at this rate, I wouldn't put that by, like pass us. Like, sure, God, maybe they will be part of the crossover. It's Riverdale. They are that insane. So I don't know. It was crazy to see him, like, trying to be a superhero. He never took off the, the cape, you know? He was really committed to his role. Uh, but I do love the fact that he is really putting a lot of effort into doing something really good to honor the memory of his dad. Now, he needs to calm down, though, because, yes, he can do good, and he wants to help these kids, but at the same time, he doesn't need to do any vigilante things or like that's not the way to do it you know let the cops handle that hire someone who will be at the door helping the kids keeping you know bad guys out things like that try to have more programs and you know things like that but like going out and be a vigilante is not the answer okay mr archie andrews who maybe he's a fan of the arrow or something like that who knows? Um, but yeah, great episode. And also, is Charles evil? Is Charles good? I mean, he is a spying on 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 Betty, so it could it could mean either thing. You know, he could try to be like checking on her on his sister, or like they cannot. Like one thing that they cannot do is to say. At the end of the day, Charles wasn't Charles. It wasn't uh, Betty's brother. No, he is, okay? You don't need to, like, go, like, because we thought it was Chick, then it wasn't Chick. Then it was this, uh, like, we don't need to keep going back and forth. We need de definite answers. He's Charles. I, like, come up with another thing to make him evil, okay? But, or good. I mean, we do need good characters as well, so why not? Right? I don't know. Anyways, great episode for Riverdale. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Uh, I hope that, you know, you guys share your thoughts about the episode in the comments. So, yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon to watch the extended version, and that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, for all your support. I will see you guys next week for another reaction for Riverdale. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.